As we all know that being a forex trader in South Africa is tough, because the society out there thinks you're a scammer. Many people lost money in this industry of making money online and quick, by just using simple devices and internet connection. Well, in today's video we will break down all the facts with supporting evidence of how rich is Ref Wayne this year. This includes his car collection and his houses, together with the businesses owned by Ref Wayne. If you want to find out more about Ref Wayne's lifestyle and spendings, please make sure to watch this video until the end. The man was born and raised in Johannesburg, Soweto, which is the largest township ghetto in South Africa. It all started when he was just 16 years old, with the online markets playing around with his computer at home. Ref Wayne was one of those traders who were lucky enough to take advantage of the industry when many people didn't know it. He became very rich because there was not a lot of competition in South Africa, with forex trading classes or courses. Remember many forex traders make money by selling of classes and courses, including signals. He became popular back in year 2017, when majority of the people were moving to online business and easy quick money. Now let's talk about his businesses that he owns and made him so rich today. Ref Wayne was able to start his own company called Forex AMG, which is a trading company that offers signals and Forex courses. He was able to open many doors for many youngsters like him to make money on trading throughout the country. The man is also a book author who sells his inspirational books and novels to people who are interested in their stories. This method of selling books helped many traders gain extra income apart from forex trading and selling courses. Surprisingly, Ref Wayne is also a motivational speaker who has traveled the world to preach the world of business and entrepreneurship. Remember that the man is also a forex and business mentor who has sold his services to various people in the world. I know many people will be shocked but Ref Wayne owns accommodational properties are his home township called Soweto. He invested so much into property because it's the easiest way of making money with low risk. I'm sure you are asking yourself how much does Ref Wayne has currently with all his assets? Well, for your information, Ref Wayne is currently worth a whopping $500 million this year, according to Forbes magazine website. In South African currency, his worth around 9 billion rands, and he is one of the richest people in the country like it or not. He stands as the first forex trader to be on the top 10 richest list in South Africa by far, can you imagine that man? Now let's talk about how he spends his millions and his expensive lifestyle, starting from his car collection. Ref owns a Rolls Royce Ghost, which is one of the best luxurious cars in the world, and it has the most comfort you could wish for. Well, the price of this car is roughly about 8 million rands now, and that's a bit tight for this car. Rolls-Royce cars maintains their value very well because they age very slow, and the looks of the car are still modern. The other car he owns is a Ferrari California, which is the cheapest Ferrari on the market in history, and it's very slow for a brand name. This car cost him around 1.5 million rands back then, but the value for it now below 1 million rands. Honestly, I would buy this kind of Ferrari because it makes you look cheap and it's very small for a supercar. Plus. The owns a Lamborghini Gallardo that's one of the coolest cars back in the early 2000s, during its time. The price of this car is roughly between 1.5 million rands to 2 million rands, since it's an old school Machini. Surprisingly, this guy also has a Bentley Continental GT, that's my favorite car, and it's the fastest luxury coupe car in the world. In terms of pricing, this car is worth around 1.5 million rands and it has kept the looks regardless of being an old car now. Lastly, Ref Wayne owns a Ford Mustang GT500 convertible, and it's one of best V8 American muscle cars ever made. This car cost him just exactly 1 million rands, and Mustangs are one of the most underrated cars in the world. Well, the total cost of his car collection is estimated to be around 13.5 million rands, which is very reasonable for a man who is worth half a billion dollars. For those who didn't know, Ref Wayne stays at a 10 million rands mega mansion in Johannesburg. This is a huge saving, and I was expecting something big. Maybe Ref Wayne is saving up his money because the man is really spending less on his cash. Shockingly, the man owns a private jet that he bought for a price of 30 million rands back in the days. This jet is very small and can only fly local around South Africa province to province. Honestly, I'm glad he has a jet which is a big achievement in my own opinion. Exchanges 
exchanges is where people can buy and sell them i needed more value volume from people uh, from the outside mm -hmm. the people the organic people who don't know me who don't know anything about this maybe from america from china to, to buy and sell so i was going around dubai i went to china people don't know this that i was going to pitch to investors but because of those people uh, I was even looking at one guy now recently, he's a billionaire in China. Uh, when I went to him in 2016 telling him about crypto, to invest in Bitcoin, uh, in Bitcoin and uh, you know, to boost this value so the people, he didn't believe in it. I'm so shocked. Just two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I saw him posting something about the crypto. I said, ah, this guy, I was telling him about these things long time ago, you see. Yeah. So I was ahead of time from, uh, for everyone. Yeah. For everyone, I was ahead of time. So you know what, it was so hard for me. It was so hard for me and uh, everyone, and the price is very high, you know, and everyone, you know, they, they believe that money came to my account, they think it's me, you see. So everything was just very bad. I don't want to lie to you, I went through a lot. I went through a mini depression, really. Yeah. Yeah, I went through a lot. People don't know that I went through a lot. Uh, yeah. But I was like, you know what, um, I'll come back. This yeah. thing, this vision, it will come back again. Yeah, yeah. To come back again. I'm so shocked. As I said, this is the first time I speak about this thing in six years uh, to anyone. And just last week, uh, I was looking at my at my books, at my old books. And I was like, you know what, Ref, your vision can still come back. You know, mm. the vision. Uh, now the time everyone knows about these things. You know, it will be easier. I don't things will be different, but somewhere, somehow, you can come back. And you know, people must know that uh, you are not a scammer. You're someone who's yeah. Because many, many people, they still say, Manish, Ref, please, you know, do something. Mm. Others are like, ah. You see. So everyone has their own thoughts, you know, yeah, thought, yeah, thought yeah, processes, you know. Yeah, everyone, mm. everyone has their own opinion. Oh, no, everyone has their own opinion. And I so wish that people can really see through me, but I saw that many people, where money is involved, they don't want to know, you know. They just write so, you out. So, and that is another second time where I saw again people, how they are. Remember I said the first time? Yeah, yeah. Overall, that's all about Ref Wayne lifestyle and spendings this year. Please make sure to subscribe to Marshall TV channel and like this video. Most importantly, Please watch my other videos on the pop-up on the screen right now.